Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never done one of these before. I'm 25, I'm from Melbourne and the reason why I decided to start this is for a new venture for my business Tori Mind with my best friend. And I thought that YouTube would complement it so perfect. I'll get into that a little bit later, but I thought that I would get ready and do a little bit of a get to know me. I've already done my eyebrows and I put a lip stain on so that the first frame was not a jump scare. But yeah, I'm gonna dry my hair and then I'll be back. Okay. My hair is all dried. I will style that later. And as I said before, the reason why I decided to start this YouTube is because my business partner and I are starting a podcast. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram or TikTok, my best friend and I started a brand here in Melbourne in 2020 called Tori and Mine. Tori and Mine is her name and my name combined. So Victoria for Tori and mine for Jasmine. We will probably go into a little bit more depth the origin of Tori and Mine and where it started and how we started it on our podcast. But a little bit of background. In 2019, me and Vic spoke about starting a brand. And in 2020, I moved overseas to Scotland with my partner because he plays soccer and he got a contract in Edinburgh. And while I was there, I signed with a modeling agency in London. So I was doing heaps of trips back and forth. And while I was over there, I felt super, super, super lonely and isolated. My whole experience with modeling in London is a whole other story. You'll learn that Vic has the worst sleeping pattern ever, or used to before she had a baby, but she has the worst sleeping pattern ever. And while I was over there, she got on my time zone. So we are pretty much like 12 hours difference. And she was like nocturnal. She was sleeping during the day here in Melbourne. And then she was awake at night speaking to me. And while I was over there, we actually started working on the brand. Initially, it was meant to be swimwear and we had already designed a whole collection. We were getting in contact with photographers, models. We were gonna do a photo shoot trip in Italy and Greece. And we had a manufacturer that we were just about to place our sample orders with. And then we found out about COVID. So the brand was put on pause and obviously the collection never came to fruition because who was going on holidays in 2020? Again, getting out of Scotland is a whole other story, but we flew back home and while we were in ISO, me and Vic again had so much time to kill. We decided to pivot the brand and design tracksuits. Since 2020, we have designed five collections, including a kid's range, which is so crazy because it completely like foreshadowed, foretold, foreshadowed, foreshadowed? Is that, is that how, what it's like it predicted? Anyway, it foreshadowed that Vic ended up falling pregnant around the release of our fifth collection, which was super, super hard because she also was going to be traveling back and forth from America with her partner. We built Tori and mine completely on our own. There was no storage, there was no office. Our office was at Vic's house. Between the two of us, the entire Tori and mine operation ran, but just with us. So Vic's role was packing orders and sending them out. In between collections, she was creating all the mood boards for the photo shoot. She was liaising with the models, the photographers. She was pretty much the one that got us onto all of the trends in terms of graphics and colorways. And I do all the social media, the editing, the graphic design, the logo designs, the website design, pretty much anything based on a computer. That was me. So for me, my office was mobile. I could work from Vic's house, from a cafe, anywhere. But as I mentioned, Vic's role when we launched collections was to pack all of the orders and do all of the inventory which that bedroom then became her little baby Silas's nursery. So we decided to put a pause on the whole production operations, let Vic ease into being a mum, be really fluid with where we felt Tori and mum was going to go. To be honest, we had always thought about doing a podcast. Yeah, we will be launching it very soon, which is why I decided to start a YouTube. Also because I have a lot of exciting things coming up in the next six months to a year and I really just want to document it all. I just got engaged a few months ago which is literally something that I was hoping for for so long. Me and my partner have been together for seven years. We got together when I was 18. Like I mentioned we've lived around the world together. Right now we're living in Melbourne. We actually just bought a house together which I'm so excited about and again I want to document the whole moving process and the decorating and I don't think many people know this about me 
but I actually studied interior design at university and decorating my own home has been something I've looked forward to for so long. Obviously, we are also planning our wedding. What we've decided to do for our wedding has like literally flipped and I don't actually think I have mentioned it anywhere because I've just been pinching myself in disbelief that it might, and when I say might, I mean like 99% actually going to happen but we are thinking of getting married in Italy which is so crazy because it's one of those things that you put on a mood board and then when it actually comes down to it you're like do you take the plunge and just do it and that's something that like I didn't really think about actually ever taking that step to plan a wedding in Italy but the two of us are just really set on it now, now that the idea is in our head. And we have been researching potential villas and locations that we would get married at. It is a little bit sad because we do have big families and we're not sure if everybody will be able to make it. But Ben only has four to five weeks off a year. That is his off season, which falls in June. And we have always wanted to go overseas for our honeymoon. When it comes down to planning a wedding, even with his season, it is so hard to pick a date because they get into finals, then their off season gets pushed back. But if they don't get into finals, their season could potentially end, you know, start to mid-May. So to be safe, picking a date the first sort of like week or two of June is the safest, but then you're not left with much time for a honeymoon. So we've met with my family travel agent and she has put us in contact with some locations and some villas, but it is going to be quite intimate. I think that in the next month, I'm going to be going overseas to view some locations and meet with some suppliers because we plan to get married in June 2025. I don't think I men mentioned that. Obviously, we've just bought a house. So I want to enjoy that little chapter of being in our home, and then planning the wedding and not like really rush into it. Like we've been together for seven years, like I'm in no rush. And I say that and you're probably wondering why if I'm planning my wedding for 2025, would I be going overseas to book a venue? But that is because these venues get booked out so quickly. And if I have to wait till Ben's off season, which is June next year, that's only 12 months out. And that is not leaving nearly enough time to find the right venue for us. But in terms of the Tori and mine podcast, you will see that Vic and I are so similar yet so different in so many ways. I think that like our core morals are super aligned. Like that is probably the most important thing in a friendship and in a business. But when it comes down to like individual style or even like life experience, like we have such different life experience and such different styles. And to be honest, that's why we started a tracksuit brand that was so versatile. We were able to create some designs that fit both her style and my style. And we literally like still wear it every single day. We're not sure if we'll restock or get back into designing um, our line again. But if that's something you guys want, of course, please let us know. But I'm just so excited for you guys to hear all of the dilemmas that we'll be talking about. The podcast is going to be very topic based, like episode to episode. And like I said, we are so similar, but so different in so many ways. So sometimes our opinions are going to be complete opposite, black and white. And then other times, I think we're going to be like one singular brain. We'll be launching very soon and we will also be posting our topics on our Tori and mine Instagram, as well as our own, so that you can have a say. Share some of your stories and we will talk about them. I was gonna say, I'm not too sure what else to say. I feel like that's pretty much what is happening in my life at the moment. And a pretty simple intro. I was gonna do my hair on camera, but I think I've run out of things to say, which is so rare. Besides that, this is the best lip gloss ever. I post about it on my TikTok all the time and I'm not gonna get, keep it here either. It is the Sports Girl Volumizing Lip Gloss in Ghost. It is the best plumping lip gloss I have ever used in my life. And you have to be super precise about where you place it because it burns like hell. But anyway, thank you for listening if you have stayed this long. I am so excited to post this and continue posting. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.